Condensed condition monitoring utilizes modern technologies like an architecture which utilizes cloud and edge computing to deliver high accuracy, flexibility and adaptation to different machines and monitoring on a large fleet of machinery. To make monitoring and setup practical and straightforward, we provide a selection of monitoring concepts for typical industrial assets. This video covers the blower concept. Let's assume that we are monitoring a 300 kilowatt blower package. Typically in such a case, we would be installing three to four accelerometers and an RPM sensor in case of variable speed device. Analyses for these sensors are standardized in the monitoring concept. Naturally, you can add sensors and analysis to your monitoring plan. Condensed concepts are a starting point to get you started with continuous condition monitoring. We divide monitored metrics into five categories. Key indicators such as velocity RMS ISO 10816, device specific such as blade pass frequency, component specific such as bearing failure frequencies, process measurements such as pressure to indicate a problem like leakage, supplementary measurements such as peak current to indicate a problem like motor issues. In this concept, we have decided to make a standard set based on with vibration analysis. We will focus on this method and rule out, for example, the process measurements. Condensed dashboard consists of four principal components. Status map to give a quick overview. Notifications window to present messages and alarms. Trend views which track the metrics for the device over time. And additionally other supporting components like activity monitoring. Next we will see how all of this is shown in the user interface. Condensed monitoring concepts consists of various pages built for different areas of the asset such as one for overall levels or one for bearings. The dashboard presents an overview of how the asset is doing. And it contains the metrics that act as the first indicators of failures so the user can easily see the possible abnormal behavior or early symptoms. First we have the status map, an image of the asset presenting sensor locations and general information about the asset. You can bring in informative metrics as bullets on top of the status map. The concept includes 10 to 1000 Hz RMS for each sensor as the default selection for the status map. Next we have the notifications display. As its name implies, this component shows all notifications and information during the selected time range. These are user preset informative and suggestive notifications showing the concerned metric, timestamp, severity, what has happened, and possibly what to do next. Next is the trend views. In this monitoring concept, we've brought first a look into the blower's blade pass metric. Changes in the amplitude for this metric indicates, for example, if dirt is fouling the blades. Knowledge of this can be used to plan the cleaning of the blades due to actual dirt buildup and not based on a schedule, removing unnecessary maintenance work. This data, of course, also shows more severe failures like damage in the blade. On top of blade pass frequency, blade fouling or damage is usually also seen as multiples of running speed. Fouling or deterioration typically generates imbalances, and therefore dashboard includes these metrics as well. There are many root causes of imbalance, misalignment, and looseness. Therefore, it is vital to monitor them. The dashboard has one component for each mode which includes the data from all sensors attached to the asset and to enable users to see immediately if anything abnormal begins to emerge. The dashboard also includes overall levels of vibration in different frequency ranges. Overall level monitoring is done to catch a wide variety of failures or phenomena occurring in different frequency ranges. And last but not least, the bearings. We've added the trends of the asset's bearings. We've selected the envelope metrics for the dashboard as the failures usually begin to be visible first in these. In one component you can monitor the full selection of the bearing's failure frequencies. In case something abnormal is noted which requires further analysis, a separate page covering that area can be viewed. Let's assume that we've had a notification about unbalance and noted on the front page that something is off. We will dive into more details on the mechanical page to confirm it and see the situation with more information, possibly even check the forecast for that metric. 
most likely makes also sense to check the bearings and confirm that there is no impact to them as well. In some instances, even manual analysis with vibration tool can be an option as well. To summarize, Condense Blower Monitoring Concept is a starting point covering the essential areas from the vibration monitoring perspective. If the standard analyses are not enough, new ones can be added by the user. These additions can include further vibration analyses as well as new measurement types such as motor current draw measurement. Applying accurate online monitoring to your mid-range equipment enables you to free time from routine tasks and improve the operational efficiency of your team. High accuracy will also provide the lead time needed for the allocation and planning of the task and also to make repair and replacement decisions systematically. If you would like to learn more about Condense and what it can do for you, book a demo session today.